Hi, Saggies, and welcome to January 2024. Happy New Year. Wow. All right, let's get started. This read is for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. I'm using the Past Life Oracle deck to thread the uh, a life that we have lived to sever ties, to understand, and to move on to a higher consciousness of ascension once we do so. Wisdom. Saggies. Wow, I love this. Wisdom. Innate wisdom, for sure. The unicorn. Being graced. A graceful strength in peace. Wow. Freedom. There's a lot to be said for wisdom, the wisdom of the ages, right? That, that it gives us. And not in terms of numbers, in terms of life experience. Wisdom is life experience. Okay? It's learning. It's sharing. Okay. Saggies, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Let's go. Wow. Wow, look at you guys. Like in the money, very secure, stable, new foundations, building upon new foundations. This could be a boss as well. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right, that you're dealing with. A boss, a loved one, a father. Someone's very secure, has money, has been through, has been through the ranks, has built them, climbed the ranks, the ladder of success, and should very well be proud and is proud without question. This is also knowing that um, the, the loyalty and they are part of Mother Earth. They know they're the virgins, right? That's Virgo. Taurus and Capricorn, we know how to make money. And we make money through different, like Caps do, right? Different avenues of side businesses and Tauruses and Virgos do. All Earth signs, right? Knowing the connection of, knowing the connection of, um, healing and mother, mother earth's healing and the connection to our physical 3d world, so to speak, right? As above, so below. And, wow. Saggies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, two masculines, very different, but very similar. If you're dealing with Virgo Gemini, you're dealing with Saggies, um, Mercury. They have Mercury in common, which is great communication. These two talk, they can talk about anything at any time and for however long it takes. Now, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is combined together is a power couple, a power mental and physical understanding of, right, of innate wisdom as above, so below, right? So this could be coming in as they could be parents, your parents, they could be um, two people that you're, um, that you're interested in, even if they're masculine, they could be in feminine body, take in that into accountability, climbing the ladder of success for sure, being very clear and certain about what they want, 
how they want it, how they're going to get it. And of course, without question, the loyalty, the loyalty and longevity. Wow. Someone is someone, if you're dealing with two, literally two people or two choices, you have someone who's got, you know, is balding, but very attractive and someone who's, um, you know, has long hair and is very grounded. They're both very grounded. I feel these two people, if they are one person, it's like a power like person. If they're two, it's a power couple. Saggies. We'll get more into who these people are. Look at that. Four corners of the four corners of the universe, right? The universal thread of wisdom throughout one's life that now we are very clear about where we're headed, what we do, how we make our money, and where we're going to provide that to others. So some of you are already very wise coming into this lifetime, Sagis, and you're just ready to go out there and spread the word right? Wow. I do want, okay, I do. That's what they're saying. Let's get one card on the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So we get a feel for, are they two people or one? Wow. Okay. So this guy has like, is like the King of all Kings, right? Oh, King of all Kings, right? If you're a masculine um, Sagis, it's like we three kings. No kidding. This person has money and also, okay, so is also very invested in real estate. Like they put their money in real estate. Could be a realtor. Owns their own business. Or they have invested wisely, creating... I need another card for the King of Pentacles because that's not telling me anything except for his money. <laughs> and we have, look at that, a page of swords. This person communicates very well, but sometimes has a hard time expressing what they want to say or their attention span. That's what it is. Because a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn usually know what to say, but sometimes... I feel there's a glitch in like their attention span is, you know, not always listening or li listening to half of what's being said, especially when you're dealing with a CEO. CEOs say, what do you got for me under five words? King of swords. Wow. Wow. What is the decision? Are you making a decision? Is there a decision that's being made? You may have two masculine and or feminine. They're, they're masculine A-type feminines. This one's a feminine, but with masculine traits. I feel this one may be as well, or this one has a child. Okay, let's continue. The King of Swords, please. What is this decision? Okay, it is, this is the, this is the uh, uh, possible September, but definite October, November, and December read for Sagis with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where a decision to leave there's too much fighting, we don't get along, we don't see eye to eye, and we may not at this point even be talking, and definitely not talking about anything serious. 
and we're healing. Yes. So someone has definitely, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where we broke, we're breaking the chains that bind here and you're, you have found perhaps a new love interest here who may have a child or you have a child, but I feel someone's attention span is like, you know, they, they make good money, they're a boss. You may be on the rebound from one relationship going into another. Let's go with the world because something obviously here, the four corners of the universe say we're changing, we're changing direction. We're starting anew. So what does the world card mean for you, Sagis? We're starting anew. This is beautiful. I am so happy this, this is happening. I can't even, I, I am like so happy because you guys have been through it with this Gemini Libra Aquarius for sure. Whether it's a boss, whether it's a loved one, a wife, an ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-whatever. It's an ex. This is luck on your new path, wherever that may take you. Wherever that may take you. Some of you may be contemplating, you know, like here's the blow up, right? This is your card, right? This is the blow up. It already happened. We're healing from this. But now we're moving on. And we're moving on in a very, building a new foundation, maybe moving, right, to a farther distant place where you're at right now. The iguana is about good luck. Good luck follows you after you've, right, the sort of truth of like your reality. The reality hit, hit you and even though it may have blindsided you, this is a blessing for sure in disguise right there. Let's go. One more card on the world. Yeah. Someone, look at that. Someone is definitely, definitely licking their wounds, I heard. Let's get another on the Five of Cups. It's not a bad thing. You have to heal death. There we go. The end. The end of one relationship into a new. You could be dealing with a Scorpio for sure. Sad Gs. Uh, but I also feel that Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they could also have that in their moon, right? Moon sign. right? It's a new beginning. Let's see why, why the five of cups and the death together. So something is being put on hold for a minute. Something's pending. This could be the divorce. This could be a lawyer, a divorce lawyer. And we're not sure, right? We haven't, we haven't finalized, you know, someone's trying to stick up for their rights, their rights, like, and, or maybe someone's trying to get more money. This Gemini Libra Aquarius could also be someone who's trying to get some more money out of you. Be mindful of this. I'm telling you, that's why we do this. This is a heads up. Someone may be very coy, I hear. Right? Taking, you know, they want to take you for a ride. Especially with your money. Because you make good money. This could just be you as a boss. All right. The Ace of Wands, new beginning with the world. Yeah. So, this there's... This is a time of healing. There is no doubt about it. Whatever has ended, Sagis, 
you and, okay, you both are feeling it without question. Okay, maybe this was just a relationship based upon the physical at first. And then when it got real serious, like, you know, deep into the relationship, it was like, well, this isn't working out. We don't even, we're not even, someone was waiting. Literally, I think you were waiting, Sagis, for something to change. I feel so, change their mind. Someone, I feel you thought someone was going to change their mind. But I feel you've, you're very confident and comfortable and you're healing. And so take your time to heal because this is something that is, this life experience here, Sagi, is going to take you literally to new levels of heightened awareness, right? I mean, doesn't all life experiences that end in our lives, whether that be a live-in, a marriage, a connection, a job, this tells the story of the wisdom that we already have acquired. All right, let me get one card for each section here. There we go. Judgment. See, that's what's happening. Judgment's reversed. Someone is going to play. I, I'm so sorry. Sagis, be mindful. Someone's going to play a sad story they're going to they're going to make you uh feel really bad for them but inside internally they're judging you like why can't you give me that money where is that money look at that where is the money someone could have been hiding money someone could have been it may come out oh my god it may come out that your ex has been has been taking money or is going to be very coy about getting money. This is bury the hatchet. Waiting on money. Someone's waiting for money. Oh my gosh, the King of Pentacles is reversed now. Wow. You're going to say, okay, if this is you, Sagis, and you're the king of pentacles, you're going to say, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm only giving you what, let's say, the court system says to give you. I'm going to give you child support for sure. This is like going to court and getting this, this whole situation figured out. This is like the final... The chap final chapter, if you will. Yeah. And this is Virgo. But this is really about, more importantly, understanding the differences of two people that came in really thinking and believing that, which we do, don't we? We, we go into relationships believing that you don't get married thinking you're going to get divorced or you don't go in a job thinking you're going to lose it. You go all in. And then this has happened. As it stands right now, you're going, you're, you've been in hermit mode and now you've seen the true light of a new day in terms of you have gained wisdom. You went within to gain this wisdom that you already innately had from a past life. And I would I would probably say that Sagis, you and this person were were definitely connected like soulmate relationship connect where this time around like last the last time around someone got wise to one's ways and this now is happening again vice versa though this is karma being handed to someone for sure strength it 
it's taking every ounce of strength not to like blow up i feel because really look look what's behind here right we have to find that that calm demeanor saggies that brings us to a higher level so we don't lose our cool we can't lose our cool okay don't lose your cool it's not worth it let's continue i do want a card on the hermit reversed if i could please for saggies yeah don't lose your cool i'm serious don't lose your cool because it's not worth it all right a card on the the lion yeah this is a past this is a past life relationship where before it was the masculine that left and now it's the feminine that left without question here's the feminine here's the feminine trying to be really strong right You could be, it doesn't matter. We, we have both masculine and feminine within us. But someone, the end of this relationship is definitely going to, spirits asking you to be wise, be cool as a cucumber, they're saying. Please don't judge others. For no one is, no one needs to be the cause of judgment. But more importantly, the wisdom that you have gained in this situation is let bygones be bygones. And if someone, you know, th that's a harsh lesson for sure, is that, you know, when you realize that something's ending, you do have the choice. A choice is made not only about something's ending in our lives, but also the choice to take the high road or do we want to just get like batshit crazy? And that breeds also, be mindful of that. That breeds other karma. It's like that's how karma attaches itself from one to another. You're receiving your inner, your innate wisdom of what happened before is happening now to the same person in this life in another body, right? And or to you. It's both of you affected, two people here. And quite frankly, if you keep your cool, you won't attach any more karma to you, to yourself, which is right here. Don't attach other people's crap to you. I'm telling you, keep your cool. Someone may try to play a, you know, like a game of poker here with money, but you can't do that in the court of law. You can't. It's a formula. You only give what you, a certain percentage of that formula of what you make. And if you're making less than you're paying child support and, you know, and whatever, I don't know if you're going to be paying anything else, but I do know it's a formula that is, is taken into accountability. It's not just like, you know, and this Gemini Libra Aquarius perhaps is going to try and weasel their way into getting more. Let me find out what that's about. See that? They're going to say, I know you have a little more stash. I know where you keep your stash. Be mindful. I'm telling you. Uh, okay, that's what they're saying. Uh, savings accounts, joint checking accounts. Yeah. You're going to stop this money in terms of you're only going to pay your what is being told for you to pay. And you're going to be weak. You could come up weak a little. I'm telling you, someone had a third party. Even though this two of cups is usually not shown 
in other decks as someone had to walk away. It could be someone had someone else or it's just a matter of time for you for someone to walk away so that we can learn these lessons, gain the wisdom again inherit inherently that we have gained and move on without judgments. And the judgment, the only judgment going on right now is the courts, what they're going to judge in terms of how much you will pay out or they will pay. Depends on how your situation is unfolding. All right, Saggies, we got to go into this love thing. Retreat. Some of you are literally taking like, Okay, for some of you, I saw this as a new rebound relationship. But then, there, she's in a wedding gown. Wedding gown. I'm not sure if you're going to... Some of you saggies may say, what do you think? Because this happens a lot. I'm going to attest to that. It happened to me as well during my divorce. My ex said and I which we did we literally did do it you go on vacation just for like a last like are we really sure that this is what we want kind of feel so or you're or someone's going on a retreat and taking off you know for I don't know someone's going somewhere with someone now, they're in a wedding gown, so I'm going to say that some of you may be convinced to take a trip with your soon-to-be ex here, and it's a plot. There's a plot twist. I, you guys do what you want. <laughs> I love you guys. Codependency. Who's codependent here? Someone's codependent on the other for love. And the other's codependent on the other for money. I'm going to take these two. I think there's two. Look at this. Past life relationship. Yes. Right? Sexy, sexy. Looks good on the outside. What happened on the inside? Let your friends help you. You may need, oh, I've got, ex, oh, I got an extra card. See that? Okay, let your friends help you. You may be asking your friends for some advice and let go of control issues. Come on, Saggies, come on. You're very, I'm telling you, some of you are very codependent on this X. I don't feel that I'm not judging i'm saying ask yourselves why is it out of companionship is it out of love where does that codependency come from i'm gonna ask who's codependent on who i think it's money i really do ah oh, there it is it's money someone's in a relationship if it's a third party we have three. Someone, your ex may have gotten into an affair with someone for money. Or someone married for money. Take your pick. I love you guys. But I feel this is the end of a chapter of your life. That you are going to clear your karma. In terms of we don't go back to relationships, or we don't entertain, I should say, relationships that are controlling, codependent. And that's why this person came back again into your life. You guys had this karma. This happened before. Someone had the wisdom. You both have the wisdom, innately have had the wisdom. One Last lifetime, the same thing happened, but it was reversed roles. And now this time it's happening, reversing the roles to whomever that, that applies. And that's what past life soulmates do. 
Soulmate relationships keep us um, in a situation where we learn our lessons. We need to learn in order to grow. That's what we're doing here. We're learning so we can grow and not repeat. I send you so much love and light. This may be a little difficult right now, but know that this too shall pass. If you need me, I'm here for you. If this connects, please comment below if it resonates with you. I love you guys. Take care.